Een goede avond. Welkom to a new episode of the Rack Show. Today it's going to be a small update on what I'm expecting on Bitcoin once again, as there's been some volatility. And we're going to discuss a bit about altcoins short term. We're going to discuss my expectations towards the halving, as the halving is in about 11 days from now, 10, 11 days. Tomorrow I'm going to discuss the... Uh, My longest perspective on the uh, on the markets. I'm going to discuss something about commodities. So probably the video tomorrow will be a bit longer. Um, and then the next video will be on uh, Monday, as I'm taking off on Sunday. So let's see what we are getting here. We have been discussing Bitcoin yesterday, in which we constructed a range. The high at 9.4. Um, the resistance at 9.000, and we had constructed the low areas, which were 82 and 84. We said, okay, well, 84 could be a nice bounce range, which happened, and it rallied towards the resistance around 9.050. Uh, and now we are pretty much stuck in between a uh, range, and that's what you usually see after such a big move. You can see it in the history as well. Big surge up, big surge up, and then the price starts to consolidate within a range. It uh, happens all the time in which uh, the price balances out. Uh, leverage traders get tapped out every time, which is pretty easy to trade on. If we get a low into the, res uh, into the range level, you can just buy, um, which is probably is 86. But if we get to 84, that's a nice entry as well. If we get towards the area over here, I'm looking for shorts. Um, so that's pretty easy. But if we see such momentum in, in Bitcoin in which you can see that the volatility drains away, you could expect that um, altcoins are bouncing up. And with that we have seen today that BTC pairs are doing pretty fine. One of them is Stellar. I've been pointing this out in the videos earlier that you didn't really want to buy it in the high zones here unless 800 satoshis with, which goes back a while um, crashed afterwards but what you see is that this whole area over here um, used to be a pretty nice buy range given that there's a nice support area there and given that the previous high is there um, I personally missed it but I've pointing it out in the video on Ripple and Lumen you can check it on my uh, YouTube And now we are uh, pretty much, we have bounced about 10, 15% on the altcoin right now. We are actually flipping the 800 Satoshi's level for support back again. Um, if we get one more down towards 780, I'd be happily inclined to long this one as well. But this whole construction looks like we are going to tap the highs back again. Um, before we construct some more downwards momentum. But overall, uh, we could tap the high again. And what you see here is what you see around the field. Heavy drop down due to BTC and after that you see a pretty strong bounce back up to of the altcoins. Another example is Bunt. Tapped the previous high as you can see here and just immediately shooting back up with a 50% move. Um, the same we see with the Hedera Hesegreffe which uh, dropped below support also bounced up. So it's, it's a nice playing field for altcoins. And it's uh, something we really want to see uh, across the field in which they just start to follow the king. Which means, then we come back to Bitcoin, that Bitcoin is going to range for a little while. In which I'm just expecting sideways movements. Maybe one more tap towards 9.5 and then the consolidation and retracement starts. So what we get as a conclusion is that I'm not assuming Bitcoin to be breaking above 9.5 at the moment and we might actually have seen the high pre-halving i'm not too sure about it but it could we could still tap the high one more time to create a bearish divergence here just what we have witnessed over here uh, but overall some ranging then one more fomo and then we should be following the plan that i've made in which we in which we tap 95 go back tap the 200 week ma and then start to rally up um But in the meantime, in the period that we are ranging here, we could expect altcoins to just follow up um, in the UCT pairs. Uh, they usually follow the king. It's not that altcoins are leading, but it's actually Bitcoin that's leading. 
that's the same over here as well um, so if you want to long Bitcoin there's no real point in finding any long right now preferably for swings you'd want to watch 7 8 8k for day trades the range lows I've just discussed the range highs I've also discussed so I'm just flat now I played the long to 9k also in the group and closed it uh, right now I'm just chilling out uh, got a pretty heavy weekend coming up um, so I'm just chilling but that's pretty much the play you want to have on Bitcoin but mean in the meantime you could see altcoins just bouncing back up the only one that's showing weakness is Ethereum here which lost the level here and I preferably want to see it close back above 24.6 if we get that we could tap the high here if we don't get that I'm looking for longs in the gray zone over here uh, which is around 23.3 um, but yeah that's that's basically where we are coming here uh, I mean we can expect some fireworks from the altcoins for a little while take your profits um, wisely I still expect a downwards move to occur in general but um, that's what I wanted to say today so a really short video of like six seven minutes but I hope uh, it's enough tomorrow it's going to be a longer one so then I'll just compensate thanks for watching again if you are interested in more videos which is almost daily subscribe and you will get notified with a new one Thank you very much.